Hey, what's going on? Uh, Queer Party is broken again, so Christy's doing the tooth. If you want to boost that one, that'd be great. So, how's everyone doing? It's time for... It's time for a video game. I gotta move over and stuff. I'm having a real bad think me today. My think me doesn't work at all. Because my other meat, my moving meat, my movement meat, is trying real hard to not hurt anymore and it's not very good at it. So I'm eating graham crackers. It's all I can do, really. There we go. See, uh, Christy, I see Felthry, I see Mox. Thanks for joining me. Let me fix my preview windows. It turns out that the real meat was us. And this whole time, we were the meat. And my coffee's done. One sec. Let me go get my coffee that's done. And I should have ran another song. Um. Yeah, I probably should have done that, but I'm not gonna. I'll be right back. Like 20 seconds. All right, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. I was getting coffee, Bad Road. You missed it. It was exciting. All right, let's do this thing. Let's go on a God-murdering rampage, which is literally what you do in this game. This game is literally about killing every god you can find, and that's awesome. And it has been faithfully replicated in its original form. Except where they removed some brand names and a couple of uh, things that are now considered slurs, but weren't at the time. Because people didn't understand slurs, apparently. It's Japanese stuff, specifically. Thank you, Bad Road. Fight gods, and I mean all gods. That's right. Come on, we just heard this track. Alright, this is Ashura's Tower. You remember Ashura? That piece of shit? We're gonna go fuck him up. God, I love the music in this game so much. This is top 10 video game soundtracks all time. Top 10 anime soundtrack betrayals. Oh shit, pebbles. We're fucked now.
So what do you think pebble meat is? Is it just more rocks? Ow. Rude. Really need to change out Alice's monster type. Alright, we have two sets of cure. So that's fun. It's meat from the tentacles that come out of the rocks. Oh no. Pebble fell. It's a landslide. Some geodes have juice. Yeah, geode juice. Like the Pokemon, geode juice. Mmm, dirt fruit. <laughs> Is it... Isn't it just spelled like it sounds? Isn't it a geoduck? <laughs> or is it a gooey duck? Right! I remember that now. Remember learning that in preschool? And being really confused. Now I have relearned it, and I'm really confused. Holy shit, beetles are weak against ice for reasons. Eat the meat! Octopus changed to pebble. Sweet! Now she's, like, immune to, or nearly immune to, change attacks. She only has 13 defense? Why am I doing so little damage to her? Or to the, uh, to the other pebbles. Right, 13 defense isn't nothing, but it's not like, only do 10 damage with an axe defense. But she can't be turned to stone. Now that's called Bonzi Buddy, Bad Road. And before you say that that was, that was an ape, it started out as being many different uh, standard Windows mascots. Alright. And I believe there was a duck among them, though I may be mistaken. Silver! Ice! P pistol! And bash! These were the ingredients mixed together to create the ultimate team of heroes. But an extra ingredient was added by accident. Chemical meat! God damn! That silver is working overtime today. Anne's max HP up. Sue lost her secondary cure and acquired immunity to Quake. I don't think anything uses Quake until the next world. I think Giant World is the first place Quake gets used. Change immunity includes weapon resistance. Huh, I didn't realize that. That's cool. That's a pretty good ability then. Also, do all shields attract attacks in this game? Because that was five people attacking me at the front. Also, that makes... shields actually good. Pebble changed to spider. Oh no, not again. Oh no. She only has 45 HP. That's not good. Now she's radioactive. That can't be good. But yeah, that makes shields actually really good. 
and way better than- certainly way better than I ever gave them credit for. Not like all enemies attack the shield user, but m the more the shield user tries to shield the other party members. Yeah, I think you're right. That's what it seems like. Runs around intercepting attacks is a good way to put it. Also, yeah, now shields have a use. I'm learning new strategies and shit. She can't eat the meat today. That's the problem, is when you get a really weak monster, yeah, they're probably gonna get a good morph when they eat the meat, but they have to survive the fight to do it. Pebbles. As I said. I definitely don't think they did that in Saga 1. And by definitely, I mean... Maybe. God dang. There we go. The spider eats the beetle, circle of life. Spider changed to fungus, circle of life. Remember starting I remember not finding shields terribly useful in this one the first time, but I didn't give them much of a chance. In the first one I tried them out, but they're terrible. But this one it seems like they attract attacks. Attack attractor. And that makes them good, actually. There we go. I'm gonna train up another martial arts item eventually. They're pretty cool. Ooh, there's a saber. I think that's agility. Someone may have to look that up for me. Okay, so it can replace the bow fairly, fairly handily. Alright, here we go. Hey! Good dialogue, good talk. Also, I really wish that uh, Woodman was uh, weak to axe. I think that would be fun. Do Lost Quake acquired warning. Ooh. 
Thanks a lot. I'm... well... Call me Mask. It's not obvious at all what my true identity is. I came here to defeat Ashura, but... well, you saw what happened to me. Why don't we work together? Mask joined. Saber's agility, excellent. This song is called Heroic Tune, and I love it. It plays with its own key a bit, and that's always fun. So, Mask currently has nothing. Let's put the bronze glove at the bottom so it doesn't get in the way of, like, other stuff. Cool, it's Jim Carrey, that's right. This is a Hollywood adaptation of a beloved hyper-violent comic series that actually turned out pretty good despite being rated PG-13. Oh, my equipment. I can fight now. So now, da <coughs> Mask has a hammer and just all this equipment. Also, it moved the bronze glove back up. I did not realize it did that. It just rearranges the whole thing. Wouldn't it be neat for these collections and releases if they used some of the blank space left to put up the song that's playing in the composer? Oh, that'd be awesome. That'd be a really good feature. It would be nice to have the frame area used for more than just pictures. I don't know why more uh, more games that do that have frames don't do that. I guess because they want to put it out as cheaply as possible, honestly. Alright. ba da 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 The bronze shield is not attracting attacks. Holy shit. Oh yeah, and Mask also does like 200 damage with the weakest strength weapon in the game. Probably why you thought shields were garbage. You tried the bronze shield and it was. Yeah. You are probably right there. Because if the others attract attacks and that one doesn't, or it's possible if they only attract attacks up to a certain, like, enemy level. I should have brought in more potions. Oh my god. Meanwhile, their bronze shields... Fungus changed to lizard. Okay, she just can't get out of the level 1 monster section. I'd love to have dev commentary on some of this stuff.
I may have to exit the tower and head to the town. I don't know if Mask will let me, though. Because we need more than what we've got. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Blizzard changed to Jaguar. Yeah, the shield might help. We're gonna see if we can head out of the tower real quick, though. The monsters are a little weaker on this floor. No magic is good for Azura. Watch out. Monsters are much weaker down here. I should also be using Punch, but I'm trying to train her strength. What is Mask's mana? 35. I should get him a spell book. case, we've got lots of money to shop if it'll let us out of the tower. Alright. Baby worm, that's better than nothing. Oh no, not Barracud. Barracud's meat. Now we got a toad. One of these days, she's gonna land on something good. It just lets me outside. It does not even complain. That is excellent. I don't think there's random encounters in this town. It's just the other one. There we go. Full health. That's a good start. We can sell off things we don't need, like this bow. And this whip, and this other punch. We can get an X kick later, or something, to replace our current punch. Uh, we can grab some cures and X cures. There's also a cure book. And elixir. Oh, we don't have enough for the heal rod. Check the weapon shop real quick. We got stun guns, pistols, axes, sabers, battle swords. We're gonna get a battle sword in the tower, so I'm not worried about that. Heal rod, I believe, is a party heal? It may have just been a more powerful cure. Alright, so no shields sold here, so it's a good thing we have most of two silver shields. 
Unless there's an armor shop in the uh, northeast. There is not. So to get armor, we'd have to go all the way back to the first town, which I'm not willing to do. Ah. Let's grab a few X cures. Those will be very helpful. Uh, cure book could also come in handy. And toss that on mask. There's no offensive magic here, though. Now, we can't get the cure book back once mask has it, is the biggest problem. I don't think it'll let us remove any of his equipment. Yeah. It's a lizard in the northeast. That makes northeast the best part of town automatically. I mean, you got me there. Alright. I think we're good to go now. We've got plenty of healing to get through this. Ah, shit. Just literally right out the gate. Oh, I should grab another weapon from Mask, too. Because <laughs> that hammer will run out before we reach the top. Slime meat. Code change to pebble. Alright, we're back to level 2 monsters, at least. Pebble is at least solid. You know, you add a slime to a toad, you get a rock. Everyone knows that. Let's grab one more axe for mask. Move masks, other stuff out the way, especially that bronze shield, which is completely useless. There we go. Alright, should be good to go now. No, you have to use up anything of masks that you want to get rid of, which means he's stuck with his crap armor. <laughs> Alright, ready to go. Excellent. <sighs> We're just gonna keep eating the meat until something good happens. Okay, that's pretty good. Baby worm's probably better than pebble, and it's probably the best we're gonna do at this point, too. Hey, Xenon. How you doing, demon goat? This way. Ah, almost. This is a job for the Silver Shield. Which is kind of like this is a job for Superman, except it's literally a job for a shield made of silver. Alright, yeah, now Alice is actually doing some good damage. Beak is playing out very nicely. Now we're gonna keep Baby Worm until it's running out of Beak. Oh, 
Oh god. Definitely should have used the silver shield. Fortunately, we have tons of healing stuff now. Ooh, look at that. Instant, instant full cure. Eagle, that is clearly a chocobo. It's a chocobo eagle. Oh, shit. Right, large group, silver shield. I also love Pudgy Snake. They're like Fat Dragon, except a snake. Tsuchinoko? Is that like a Tachinoko? Like Common Rider? It's a Japanese cryptid, basically a short, fat snake. Oh, that's lovely. Japan has the best spirits. They have, like, this idea that basically all of their spirits are uh, freeform shapeshifters. Well, you can't say that that wasn't a kitchene. A kitchene can look like anything. You can eat one in shit. Can you really? Mm. That's kind of awesome. Alright. We're back up to where the difficult fights start. Treasure chest. Silver shield. Ice on the flowers. I believe they're weak to it. Everyone else just start whacking the troopers. Now we're getting somewhere. Hands max HP up. Two lost warning and acquired cure again. <laughs> Got a pistol. She used any cure? She hasn't. Pistol's not that good. What a shame. And we already have one. Gunsparce is based on Tsuchinoko. They drop one of the best support abilities in Aria of Sorrow. Warning stops you from being ambushed. Which actually is useful in here because there's a lot of enemies that can ambush in here. Consider this stack to be basically free healing.
That's true. A lot of the lower level items add more stats than higher level items. And she does have one empty slot. So I guess we can dump this pistol on it and increase her strength a bit. Another treasure chest. She's on fire. All right, so far, so good ish. There we go. Takes so long to gain stat ups at the start of this game. Oh, another silver shield. That's good. Silver, uh, flame. There's so many zombies and so many slimes, and almost as many octopode. There we go. Not bad. Wow, got blinded. I don't think that lasts after combat, but I could be wrong. Wouldn't that be annoying? Oh yeah, that lasts after combat. That sucks. Don't have any way to fix it either. It's a good thing she's mostly using shield, though. I think these are potions. No More Beetles, the sequel to No More Heroes. magic, yep. And the other one is a power potion. Not bad, not bad. There's a battle sword, which we can replace my axe with, as it's significantly more powerful. I don't remember what the other one is. I 
And it's not like I'm gonna need magic. Azura, if no magic is good for Azura, watch out. There's a long sword. Finally, Sue gains more mana after I use a mana potion on it. The bosses in this game can be harrowing, by the way. Like, much more so than in the first game. Where they're either really, really, really strong if you haven't leveled up, or they just go down in two rounds. This game is where the ludicrously strong bosses that the series is known for originate. Now... Alright, there's a silver helmet. Let's up my defense a bit more. Shield, flame, axe, the three genders. No magic is good for Azura. Alright, here's our boss fight. Let's let's get our ass kicked. This guy's got like fucking 800 HP or some shit. And he's very likely to kill at least one or two people. Haha! <laughs> well, hello! I was about to send someone to tell you that my men already micronized and went into Key's body. Wait, that was a plan? That was a thing? What did you do to her? No, seriously, I don't know what that means. He was born with magi in her body, which gave her the power of healing. I get those magi, and she fails. It dies, I guess? Killing two birds with one stone. Well, now I get yours, and that'll make it three birds! Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. No. Alright. <laughs> Alright, start dumping physical attacks into him. Ow. Fuck. Well, Alice died. Most of our physical attacks are not strong enough to hurt him. So that sucks. It's odd. Because you're... 
they, they basically set it up so that mask is your only hope here. Which I think would be more poignant if the translation was better. It's possible to get strong enough to beat him without Mask's help. It takes forever. And strength up. Hooray! It's use max HP up. Ah, uh, no god meat. No! No! I don't want to die! Receive power, speed, mana, fire, ice, thunder, poison. By your powers combined. I've done what I wanted to. Bye. Mask left. He must be in trouble. In a trouble. Wow, I never noticed that before. He must be in a trouble. Oh, I hope she's not in too much of a trouble. Well, Mask does make it an easy fight. The rest of your party can die, and Mask is very unlikely to die with them. I think we should head to the town real quick and unblind me. He is in one, one trouble, that's correct. If she was in two troubles, then I'd be worried. One trouble is more than enough. I think the inn will probably cure blind. It does not. Alright, better go grab an eye drop from the item shop. Is that a 30% margin of error? That is, that is a very, that is very inaccurate. All right. I guess uh, trouble is more of an art than a science. Well, that's good. I'll never trust a capacitor again. Alright, let's see what we got in the weapon shop real quick, because I remember that this town has stuff you can't really afford your first time here. Here we've got Temptat, which charms. Uh, SMG, Thunder, Fog, Rocket Launcher, Sleep, and Prayer. I don't remember what prayer does. Holy damage, maybe? Let's see. I don't really need any of this stuff unless prayer does some cool holy damage. You don't use an electrolytic cap when you need a precise value, just when you need lots of capacitance and don't care exactly how much. That makes sense. Alright, I've got two power on me now. Sue has two mana. Haiti has nothing right now. Alice has speed. Um, Alice just needs defense. Which means Katie can take speed, I guess. Sue could honestly do with... Fire. 
the elemental ones, I believe, raise both resistance to that element and attack with that element. And they do it more than mana would. Because mana is like straight up one point per magi. I don't remember exactly how it works. But now we've got Magi for everyone. I remember there was a couple of monsters that equipping an elemental on was just fucking overpowered. Get out of here. No point fighting y'all. Elemental Magi confers immunity and a straight bonus to mana. Wow. Oh, come on. Knock it off. I remember this. There's less steps to the next fight if you run away. Which is a shitty thing to do. Alright. The only way to get inside a body is to micronize. The giants should know how. The large people? Oh yes, he told me to give you this. Receive defense. Please ask giants how to micronize and save her. Well, I guess we gotta go find giants. We should have enough magi to unlock the next floor in the Pillar of Sky now. Hi, Alma! Is this Robotech? This is starting to sound like Robotech. It's certainly pulling from a lot of the same ideas as Macross. I think that a lot of anime does, and let's just say... Now, on the other hand, this does not have robots with three forms, one of which is a jet, one of which is a robot, and one of which is a hybrid jet robot. Who doesn't love hybrid jet robots? Opened! This music right here is trippy for the same reason as a uh, heroic tune. It's just playing with its key just enough to sound slightly off. Oh, that's true. Perhaps Katie has a hybrid jet robot form. Chrissy, does Katie have a hybrid jet robot form? Do you have a hybrid jet robot form? <laughs> anyway, here we are. Here we are, the giant's place. So, in here is, you can buy the, uh, the giant's armor, which increases your strength. Like, pretty heavily. Huh. Wonder what that's about. Like, the giant's armor increases your strength by so much, it's painful to get rid of it. The giant's place. There are probably giants here, TM. That's a good slogan. So we've got Katana, we've got the gold bow, 
Uh, yeah. We've already upgraded our... our weaponry enough, I think. They might be giants, unless they've micronized. This is a giant store here. Where does he get the giant goods? Look! Giant armor! Giant hat! Giant glove! The get a boot! The get a boot! Y'all hear what I said there? I said... I said forget a boot. I, I said forget a boot. I guess I can equip it along with the glove, so... There we go, 15 strength. Yeah, that's plus five strength just for the cheapest one. That shit's wild right there. But yeah, we get we get a couple of those. Because Robot also needs boots. Let Robot wear boots. Huh. Oh right, the bronze shield also raises strength on the robot. No, never mind. The get a boot does not actually raise strength on the robot. That's interesting. Huh. Alright, but we can come back for actual giant armor later. Got that extra silver shield. Let's see if we can buy a gold shield. There was no shields in the weapon shop. None of the giant gear affects robot strength. That's interesting, so it's just a big defense boost for them. See Johnny there? Many think he used to be a giant. What? I know nothing! About... The giant ness. Dad, uh, uh, Bob, Bob, Annie. <laughs> yeah, you remember me? Of course. Oh, Annie, how's mom? She's fine. Waiting at home. Come on, let's go home together, Dad. And no, I can't yet. For Magi? But we beat Azura. There's more of those like Azura. Going after Magi. Magi. Well, we've got some. Here. You're gathering them too? Here, then take this. I'll put you in danger instead of me. Nobody would imagine that kids like you have such a thing. Not a kid anymore. Well, we'll meet again as long as we go after Magi. Come home with you then. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Disappears. Okay, Dad. Promise. Well, now I've got another Thunder Magi. Hey, there's, there's a house here. It leads into the giant store. I want to steal all this shit. There's nothing in the pots and barrels in this game. It's not fair. Excuse me. Where do you get those giant goods? Ah! Bo bo Jesus! Where did you come from? You scared me! I get them from the giant town. Why? How'd you get in? Well, Johnny told me how, but I don't tell anyone else. I'll be out of business. Same dialogue the second time. Alright, let's go beat up Johnny. It's gonna be wild when you look at the chapter titles and realize it says, Dad is dead, man. <laughs> oh, shit.
Dead Space. There's a good idea here somewhere, and it's all bad. There's one Dead Space game I really like, and it's a rail shooter on the Wii. That captures what they were trying to go for a hundred times better than any of the other games. It's a Dead Space thing. They... They, uh... Thought that... They thought that, uh foreshadowing was uh, putting a code in the chapter titles rather than working it into the narrative. Oh wait, I already had your refreshment. Hey Johnny! What do you mean Barks has bite? The man at the giant's shop told you? Okay. There's a spot in the stairs in the northern part of the giant's town. It's pigmented differently than the others. You can get in from there. You think I'm a giant? Yes. Well, that's not true. No. Okay, then. I'll give you another clue. You can climb up the shelves in Giant's Town. We know now they're not giants. Oh no, we've spoiled the mystery. Alright, so now I've got to go find Giant's Town. Hey, I found it. As you can see, they were not kidding about how giant they are. Oh, there's only three of them. I don't need the shield. Battle sword. Flame. Axe. Beat. Oh, gross. Forgot all about how strong those fuckers are. that one down and then forgot which it was. Finish them all off. Fiend meat! Fiend meat, Seymour! Oh my god, why does everything just turn into fungus? It's pigmented differently. Check that shit out. Secret door! Fungus are the crabs of meat. Ain't that the truth? You can't kill it in a way that... That's true! Because if you kill her, she just comes back after the fight with 1 HP. Alright. So now there's like some treasure and shit in here. There's like a couple of magi, there's some Geta shoes. Uh, 
this might be where the first gold shield lands, too. Might have been a silver shield, though. We need more magi to open this door. Well, I guess we better check the other houses, huh? Alright. Let's just search each of the houses, then. Because we need the last two magi before we can get into that one. Rude. She can't even eat the amoeba meat. Which is fun to say, she can't even eat the amoeba meat. This one you can't enter. I'm wheat. Well, that's fun. I like that. All right. Kick its ass. Here's the other house you can enter. And inside it is a crab! I should have known. Silver is a really good uh, monster at this point. And no, the, the monsters cannot... Oh my god! Wow, that sucks. The monsters cannot become the robots. Oh my god. <laughs> Haven't saved in a while. That would have been enough to make me quit for the night. I should save. I don't think she can gain mana on the map screen in this one. In the menu, rather. It's a rhinosaur. Oh, Felthy's, Felthry said the same thing. Probably should have grabbed more, uh, stuff. Probably should have grabbed more armor. Because now is when you really start needing it. Now she can eat the amoeba meat. Fungus changed to Oni. Alright, now we're, now we're back on track. Poison. If you're good, power. If you're bad, uh, poison. Alright, in any case, the giant armor is well worth grinding a bit for. HP. Also, X cure potions are pretty strong. Q 
yeah, uh, espers gain HP the same way as humans. It's fairly random. I'm under the thingy. <laughs> Alright, now we can re-enter the first house. It's guarded by worm. fails. It's fine. She's she's regained her true form. Oh come on! Now I'm just being attacked by M. Bison. This is bullshit. Alright, these guys are too strong for the silver shield. Let it be known. Right! This adds to the story. Okay. So this... I'm gonna pause it for a sec. This is a cool thing. If you never die in this game, when you reach Odin, there is no dialogue. You just find this large man in a temple, and he just attacks you. But if you've done this, if you've died at least once, then, uh, fucking, uh, Odin will have dialogue. Alright. Welcome to Valhalla. Palace. Valhalla Palace. People lost in wars come here. Then, are we all dead? Yes, but I have the power to revive you. If you promise to fight against me someday, I'll bring you back to life from now on, as long as you have the courage to keep fighting. Do you wish to fight again? I'd forgotten all about this. Like, that actually changes part of the game, whether you die or not. Oh, that's much easier. Right on, choose mana. Also, you don't lose anything for dying in this game. Which is kind of wild for this series. Yeah, all these gods are only gods because they have magi. Received gold shield. Alright. Switch out the silver shield for the gold shield. There's old gods and there's new gods, and it gets complicated. Alright, so we've got 13,000. It's fucking 17,000 for a giant's armor, is the thing. There's another get a boot. Here's a shelf. It's more like an armoire, but I can climb up it. There we go, Micron Potion. Now we can Micron Eyes.
There we go. Good shit. If you can kill Artisan, they're worth a lot of money. Of course! <laughs> Very nice, Fell 3. Most of them don't have any magi as we currently have. That's true. But we have also not declared ourselves to be gods. And then sat around just sucking the life out of the planet. So let's do a little bit of... Oops. Giant town grinding. I believe Partisan only appear indoors. And they're the best thing for gold. Look at that. Oh, we can also get as many Micron potions as we want, just like the first game. Like, just getting the giant's armor for Annie would be a huge boon. We don't need more than one, sir. Annie will be the one generally taking the most damage. Oh, that sucks. Can we get through the fight is the question. And the answer is probably not. There's some RNG going on here. Do you wish to fight again? Yes. As far as I know, as long as you die at least once, there's no difference in how many times you die after that. There we go. Sue just needs to survive until she can attack. I think you can sell a Micron Potion for one gold, which makes it probably the worst way to farm gold. He does just have an whole entire gun. Yeah, that'll happen. That'll happen in a world where you can choose between guns and swords. Just all kicking. Ah, uh, come on! Damn shame you can never get human meat in this game. Monster eats bison. Monster became Satan as he fell to earth.
There we go. Alright, we've got enough money now, I believe. No, if you say no, it gives you a game over. And strength up. Good. It's gonna go up more. Hey, Andy! The dadliest catch. Andy, are you the dadliest catch? Is that, is that what we're here to learn? And strength up again, holy shit. And that's why you get higher rank weapons. I think that's what does it. It might just be higher, higher level monsters. Sixty-nine GP. Wrong store. Amoeba is also a good monster at this level. All right, all right. Oh, it's twenty six thousand. It's the helmet that's seventeen thousand. That's fine. We'll just buy the helmet. A full set is nice, but not necessary yet. And we should be getting plenty of whoops. We should be getting plenty of money in, uh, when we go into Key's body. Look at that. That's ten strength. That's fucked. That's what that is. That's fucked. And... Two can wear the get a boot. Which is actually less defense than either of these. Wow, never mind. She doesn't need that. Sell this pistol. Sell this silver shield. Sell this get a boot. Sell this other silver shield. Don't sell the micron. Silver glove versus silver hat. The same. They look the same. Alright, we're good. This is good for now. You have the old silver helmet to Katie. Yeah, that's what I was... That's what I was doing. Didn't read that till after I'd already known it. Alright. Gloves, hats, what's the difference? Exactly. You wear them both on your hands. Alright, we're gonna take a quick BRB. Seeing as it's 5 after 10. Alright. We got a couple commands. Thank you very much, Christy. We got a couple commands under the first one are ways that you can help. The protests going on all around the country as we speak. The protests have not stopped just because the media has stopped paying so much attention because uh, the 24-hour news cycle demands constant updates on everything. Or demands something that is constantly updated. There we go. Sometimes progress has to be slow. Sometimes progress has to be people fucking occupying an area for a long period of time. This shit's still happening. Racism didn't end just because an awful man's out of the White House, and now a probably slightly less awful man is in the White House. Oh, things are back. The problem is, things are back to normal, and back to normal is not good enough. The status quo is not good enough. Black Americans, people of color, all over the country are fighting for their rights to be treated equally under the law and to not be terrorized by police. 
Uh, there's all kinds of ways that you can help, including the Bail Fund Network, the Okra Project, the Black Trans Travel Fund, the Black Hills Legal Fund, just to name a few of the ways that you can help people of color, especially black and indigenous people of color in this country, to try to fight for those equal rights and for, in some cases, their, their own tribal land back, which was stolen from them. Under the second commands are ways that you can help those directly affected by the death of Breonna Taylor, who was murdered in her own home by police. And those police were then uh, charged, but not indicted. That's the word. They, they, they have not been punished. They still walk free. They still have jobs, to my knowledge. Like, how fucked is that? You fuck up so bad that you go into the wrong person's home looking for someone who is already in custody and then kill someone who doesn't even remotely look like that person. And then you get away with it scot-free because guess what? You're a white cop and they're a black civilian. Black lives matter. The lives of people of color matter. Indigenous lives and lands matter. And we will keep repeating that until we no longer have to. We will keep fighting for that. We need the people at the top to not only acknowledge this thing, these many things, but to act upon them and make them protected truths. Alright. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. More Saga 2 in a second. Block our ads. All right, we're back. I still got graham crackers. Fuck that. All There's my controller. All right, so now we're gonna go back to key. And we're gonna... What's that movie? What's that movie where they shrink down and go into someone's bloodstream? Is it Inner Space? I thought Inner Space was a game. Okay. Not Will Smith. As Will Smith was very in Independence Day. That's way more than three different Magic School Bus episodes. Alright. Now we're going to head back to Key's Temple. Miss Frizzle's way too cool for insurance. There we go. As you know, going back in time over and over again to try and fix what went wrong always goes well.
science adventures, and alternate timelines. You know, supposedly in the original script of Back to the Future, when Doc saves Marty on the highway, apparently he had to do that hundreds of times, and was completely horrified and scarred because he'd had to watch Marty die hundreds of times. That's pretty fucked. A family picture. Here we go. Oh, I meant the high the the, the 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 highway thing, the tunnel thing. Back to the future too. The only way to get inside a body is to micronize. Oh good. Key! Key! Katie says, that's my line. Do we know if Miss Frizzle can change the past, or if what happens in the past is predetermined? Yes. Let's go in! Used Micron and became the small. We're now the small people. Inside Key's body. It's wild in here. Also, yes, it is vaguely shaped like a person. I believe we have to go to each of her extremities and uh, extract the Magi. And yes, she is filled with hundreds of tiny monsters. Including, but not limited to, M. Bison and a Samurai. Dennis Quaid, gotcha. Alright. I remember the movie, but for some reason the name was not clicking with me. Randy Quaid was an Independence Day, okay. Monsters here are not as strong as in Giant's Town, just in general. And lo, the worm fell. Yes, they renamed terrorists to partisan. It's a, kind of a wild choice. They're wearing Soviet era uniforms, so it probably seemed like it made sense to call them terrorist. At the time, in the United States,
There we go. Hmm. Alright. Let's just flame out. Flame on. Flame on. They really want to hit the robot with that sword. That's right, he was full of terrorists. Sue acquired Blitz. I believe that Blitz is lightning damage. I am not 100% sure, but we're going to try it out and find out. We're in a hand now. There was a squiggle right before the hand. Just like in my hands, there's squiggles right before them. Um... This one? Yeah, there we go. There's the fire. Alright, and that actually transports us back to the wrist, too. Excellent. Blitz's agility penalty. Huh, okay. That sucks. Gold shield. Now we have the Fire Magi in hand. Yes. Yes, we do. Alright! Gold blocks dissolve. As was pointed out earlier, uh, firearms are completely unaffected by the shield. Wow, that gold shield's doing good, though. That's, that's pulling its weight. It's weighed in gold. If you see what I did there. Now... Let's some quit. You wanna come up or not? Come on. Just stand there. Ah, come on. Acid is terrifying. You know, just like real life. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. Can't dissolve the robot! Hey, we got kick. Let's switch out saber for kick real kick. Oh yeah, acid is ludicrously powerful if I can actually get Alice to turn into an amoeba. Dissolve's okay, too, but Acid is just so much damage all at once. To entire enemy. Hey, it's a grip. I'm gonna get one. Oh, rude. So I supposed to take antidotes in here? 
no, poison doesn't last after combat. Good. I don't know, it might have been. Grip meat. Jesus. So not cool. I'm just trying to kill this plasma. Should probably switch over to pistol so we actually have some strong attacks later. Plasma meat. Can't even eat it. Is it possible to exit key? Yes. Yes, you absolutely can, and then come back later. And you keep your Micron Potion, so you can do it as many times as you need. No soft locks here. Alright. You have to crawl out through her nose, yep. Just right out the face hole. A crab strong or weak to ice? That's the question. The question everyone's asking. If you're a crab, would you wear pants like this? Crab meat! Lizard changed to Barracud. More like Barracudn't, am I right? Am I... am I right? Weak against thunder, that sucks. Barracant. Are you a Barracuda or a Barracana? All right, now we're in the other hand. And the thumb? I feel like it's in the thumb. Ah, hell. This is a big one. Rude, honestly. Oh. oh, this is terrible. Oh, now this, this is awful. This sucks. Oh yeah, this one's over. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's fight again. Let's run away, because fuck that fight. Do you wish to fight again? Yeah, I totally won't retreat. Oh my god! Oh, this is hopeless. And I think if Sue had just survived long enough to use her fire attack, then it'd already be over. I mean, we're winning, technically. Good now. <laughs> that was a lot. Or could change to fly, Jesus. Oh, I don't remember uh, monsters being this big of a pain in the ass in this game. Oh my god, fuck off. <clears throat> also, I was in the wrong passage. Alright, so we do the fights that aren't insurmountable, and run from the fights that are. A pyrite victory. Yeah. Yeah, all thanks to the gold. Alright, we've got two of the, the five, I want to say, Magi. There's a thunder book. That could help. There's a rocket launcher. Rocket launcher is better than uh, better than having two pistols. Bang bang. There we go. Also, twenty four strength now. Pistol. Wait. Oh, right. Kick. Saber. Let's go. to the next one. I 
All right, two down. We're gonna go into the left leg. At least I assume it's the left leg. Because she's facing north. How many are there? Seven? Yeah, gold shield. Ice him. Ice him, boss. Rocket launcher. Oh, good. I'm so happy. No, we can just go into her heart. Open your heart. Uh, heart. Oh no, it's a plasma. Rude, honestly. Attacking with Dissolve. I should have got more X cures. I'll probably be fine. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. getting there. Plasma's me. It's gotta, it's gotta be an upgrade. Light, it's not really an upgrade. What the hell? I feel like monsters are working differently here than they did in the original version. I do not remember being stuck at level 1 throughout these areas. This is very strange. Agility. It is an upgrade, but only because they're both level one monsters, then. That's the problem. Oh, whoops, this is where I came from. No, I don't want to fight robots and M. Bison. Alright, now we're back past where we were a second ago. Alright. Grip and Plasma are both treated as the worst class. Okay. Huh. Yeah, that's an odd one. That's a very strange change. Most of the changes are for brand names or because they're not nice things to say. But Cobble to Pebble, that's just an odd one.
Alright, now we're in the left foot. Is that better than frog? That's better than frog. Oh, this is cobble. Apparently pebble and cobble are different. Cobble is the upgraded version by the look of the stats. Either that or Pebble is the third phase. Oh, no, no. This is kind of a fuck that fight. Too dang many of them. Unlike many RPGs, running away isn't gonna fuck you over so bad in this one. In fact, you kinda need to do it sometimes. isn't very good at all. It may be that the enemy name got changed, but the uh, friendly name didn't. Maybe he just liked eating some cool rocks. Ain't that the truth? Pistol is what I worry about. All right, kicks doing damage now. That worm had a silver helmet. I mean, usually. Isn't that what worms usually wear? It's high worm fashion. Nah, it's called cobble. I think we may have just misread it. Cures. We're going to have to start digging into our actual ability cures.
There we go. Easy. No problem. Alright, now we're in her groinal area. So I think the best monsters to eat right now are amoebas because they're tier 2 and barracudas because they're class sunglasses. Gotcha. Well, not doing that fight. Alright, could do worse, could do worse. Oh, come on. Also, running away doesn't fail that often in this game, which is nice. So I think this is supposed to be the intestines, which is why it twists around like this. finding a lot less meat here than before. Is it location dependent? It might be. It may be the specific monsters, too, because we're running into a lot of robots and humans, which never drop meat. On the other hand, we haven't run into a lot of plasma or grip meat, either. Oh, that's true. We're in Key's body. We don't want to eat all that meat. Alright. We got that last one out of her tummy. That's her tummy magic. Like a Care Bear. Kick its ass. So plasma counts as the lowest class, so we don't we don't ever eat plasma. Alright, we got another ice. That's good. So let's Switch these out so that the ice that's getting used gets replaced. Alright, this is the last path. For this whole area. And then we got one more to do after, I believe. We can try this one? This is not gonna end well, though. Ouch. What do you know? 
This is ending well. Ah, uh, Alice even survived it. But no meat. Alright, we're out of... Potions. If I recall, right before the boss of the area, we get a chance to head outside, go to town, and restock. Fiend meat is very good, apparently. Alright. In the foot. Fuck, which one of these is it? Oh, well there it is. Well that was easy enough to find. Ah, piss off. I just want this poison. Oh, that's why she's sick. This will let us into Key's brain. Oh wait. Gold shield. Flame. Ow. Grip counts as shit. so much poison that's not working. Oh my god. Fine. Fine! Wow, no one died. That's pretty wild. So it turns out, I didn't die. Alright, real quick, we're gonna go heal. We got a mini boss. They don't even realize that their boss is already dead, and so their search is fruitless. Grab some more X cures while we're here. It's a fixed cycle, is that so? That's interesting. It always feels like the more you run away, the more fights you get into, but that's probably just because it's happening faster because you're running away. Does the cycle continue when you're in an area with no fights, or does it pause? Oh, 
All right, now we're going into Key's brain. Opened. If we checked before, it just would have said we need more magi. Oh, hey. It's an eyeball on a stick. Just what we wanted to see. What? He's cell is guarding the magi? That's a... That's a cell, huh? Ah, these ones are called phagocytes. Gold shield. Ice. Rockets. Dash. Oh god, they're so strong. And Sue died immediately. Well, let's try and just punch our way through it. Not gonna work. Here, let's start that fight over. Because that's a thing you can do. I bet if Ashura's minions would search even harder if they knew their boss was dead because they'd want to take his place, he might be right. Yeah, I I always get the worst luck. Come on. I am I am the arch enemy of RNG. Oh rude. Look, she's already paralyzed. You can't paralyze me more. That's fine. Now does this, since it's the level up from Plasma, does this count? Let's try it. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a shot. Change to... no. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking amazing. Received mana. Thank you, you saved me. What are you gonna do now? Well, we're going to dis after the Magi in the next world. I wish you luck. So long. She can't heal anymore either, by the way. We took all the Magi out of her body. Also, the music's telling me to eat the meat. Alright, let's head over to the Pillar of Sky. So I'm guessing all plasmas count as the lowest rank. Oh, I didn't realize that you couldn't turn into the cell monsters. Yeah, I remember getting Azura's meat the first time. That was pretty nice. My very first playthrough. Going to sleep? Alright, well we're almost done here. Thanks for coming. That one opened. Now the next one should open too. And I do not have 26,000 gold for the armor. So we're just heading on to the next world. We need more magi to open this door. This place is Apollo's world. We're gonna... And check out this. Oh, hey, it's a griffin. Aren't you adorable? Ooh, griffin's me. That's got to be better than fly. Fly changed to flower. Ah, the hunter has become the hunted. 
Yeah, Zora can drop me. As far as I know, all of the... I think most of the bosses can drop meat. Which is wild, because some of them used to be human. Flower change to Ma. Alright, there we go. Finally. A good one. You know, a good one? Welcome to the Palace of Apollo, our new god. We hear you defeated Azura. Apollo's a merciful god. He's away from such ambition to conquer the world. I think he means he's not going to conquer the world, because uh, that would be an evil thing to do. Apollo's waiting for you. Please, come inside. So this is Apollo. He's very tall. So let's get a, a comparison there. Assuming I am 5'9". That makes Apollo something like 16... 16 or 17 feet tall. He is, he is a very tall, leggy boy. We welcome you, the hero of the world. I'd like to show my gratitude for defeating Azura. With this not at all terrifying eerie music that's playing right now. Received the defense magic. Why would you do this? I have enough power already. I don't need any more. I hear we still have some magi in our world. The clue is left in a riddle. One is where wind blows under the ground. One is where flame burns under the water. One is where darkness shines brightly. And I just want to point out that none of this is actually like riddles or metaphors. This is all just, it's in these places where this stuff is literally happening. You must be able to solve the riddle. Good luck! Alright, bye. Alright, that's a good place to stop for the night. We've got 26 Magi. We're making good progress. We're in Apollo's world. This person looks like a howl moving castle. <laughs> Alright, we're moving on. And here's his uh, non-moving castle that he lives in. He doesn't crave power, just very large houses. My kind of riddle, because I just assumed he was telling the literal truth, right? Alright, so, let's go over the schedule for the next week. Tomorrow is going to be Sue and Mox with Monster Hunter World. Thursday is going to be Alice with Paper Mario, the Origami King. Friday is going to be Katie with uh, Super Mario 3D World. Sunday is going to be Community Day, and Monday is going to be Christy starting on the cool new... the cool... I guess not new, but the cool roguelike that everyone's into, Hades. It's, uh, it's a very fucking cool game. Ah, uh, schedule lives lives there, like it says in the chat at schedule.truck.community. That's got our partner channel schedules up there, too. Give them a watch. Some of them have been in the chat with us this very night. And uh, we've also got a YouTube at youtube.truck.community, wherein the videos span years, like half a decade. Holy shit. We've got a we've got a lot of we've got a lot of videos there that you can binge on if you so choose. 
You need something to watch? That's your channel. That's your channel. Well, it's our channel. But it's a good one for you to watch. Uh, thanks for your support in whatever way you choose to and are able to give it. And we will see you next time. Good night, everyone.